Welcome to my PBC family, friends. This is Pastor Brian with another quick bite, living the word. Today, words that come from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and I want to read to you this verse, and we'll actually talk to you about why this matters to me. Okay, and we'll come back. So first of all, let me just talk to you about this. So we know we can trust in the Lord. We know that he is our provider. He is the Jehovah, uh, the, the, uh, he's the God who provides for us. He, uh, he, he um, Jehovah Rapha, he's the one who takes care of us. He just loves us. We can trust in him. We can lean on him. We've talked about that a lot lately. But I also want you to understand that there's a principle that we forget sometimes, I think, as Christians as well. Well, I should say as Christians, but I think just sometimes as individuals, we forget this as well. But that we were created for work. Even before the fall of man in the garden, man was created to tend the garden. So I hope you understand that we, we've always been called to work. Maybe not the same type of labor as after the fall. But what I find of interest is this, is in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's an instruction for us I think is beautiful for us to remember. It says this, I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor, it is the gift of God. So one of the gifts of God to us is for us to be able to enjoy the fruits of our labor, for lack of better terms, the work that we put in and being able to enjoy it afterwards. I'll oftentimes just go, oh, I don't want to do this. But then we recognize the beauty and the, the, the enjoyment we have after we do that. One of the things that always pops in my mind, for example, is every year resetting up our deck here, right? We, first of all, blessing that we have a deck and we have deck furniture and we have you know, furniture to sit outside and enjoy the beauty. But there's a labor to getting the deck ready to go for the season. And every year it kind of hangs over, you're like, oh, oh, and then you're like, one day you just get out there, you do it, and then you get to enjoy the fruit of that labor. So it isn't in anything, whether you're working a, a, a job every day, whether you want to, that's a provision of the Lord, a labor, something to give you to labor in so you can enjoy the fruits of it. God doesn't need our labor to accomplish his will. God gives us our labor so that we can enjoy the fruits of it, so we can actually understand the blessings of the work. Why is that so important to him? So we can also relate to what he's done for us, the work that he put in for us, the things he does for us, so that when we get those things, we recognize the grace and the kindness of those things and how much it is a gift. So if this is crazy today, as always, guys, remember that I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.